Hi everyone, welcome back to Solark's YouTube channel. My name is Bernie and today we're going to discuss one of the most important features on your Solark, the time of use settings. Time of use allows anyone to completely customize their battery use through a range of time slots, selectable wattages, and a customizable depth of discharge for your battery depending on its chemistry. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is access the PV Pro app and in the middle you will see your plant. Select your plant and at the bottom select equipment. This right here is where you'll see all of your inverters if you have two or more in parallel. Go ahead and find your master and select at the little ellipsis on the right hand side hit setting params. This will open up your parameter settings. Select the system work mode and this will bring up the system work mode tab. The charge and cell boxes I'll cover in a later part of this video. So as you can see, time slot 1 starts at midnight. It goes from midnight up until 4 a.m. Then time slot 2 goes from 4 a.m. up until 8 a.m. Then 8 a.m. up until 12, and so on for the rest of the day. I chose 4 hour increments simply because it would look pretty. There is no specific reason why you would need to select 4 hour increments, and you can choose whichever ones you want. They just must be in a chronological order. Again, it is imperative that these time slots are in a chronological order. So let's move forward to the second and third values that work together within each time slot. The first is the power. The power is essentially the maximum value that we will draw from the batteries to assist the loads. So for example, for time slot 1, we will draw up to 3 kilowatts from the battery to power the loads down until the battery reaches a 40% state of charge. Time slot number 2 will draw up to 2000 watts from the battery to power the loads down until the battery reaches a 20% state of charge. Time slot 3 will also take up to 2 kilowatts from the battery to power the loads down to 20% state of charge. At 12, we see that the state of charge says 100%. This means you will not use the battery at this time it will skip the battery and go straight to pulling from the grid. This will also allow the battery to charge from the sun during this time. At 4 o'clock we can see that we're calling for up to 4,500 watts from the battery up until the battery reaches a state of charge of 85%. And in time slot 6, which is from 8 o'clock to midnight, we see a calling of up to 4 kilowatts of power from the batteries to the loads down until the battery reaches a 50% state of charge and so on. So let's talk about the charge in cell boxes. If you want to use your grid or generator to charge your batteries, you can use the charge boxes and select whichever time slots you want to charge your batteries. For example, we're going to use time slot 1 to charge our batteries, if it's charging from the grid or the generator, it's going to use essentially 3000 watts up until the battery SOC reaches 70%. Now, let's talk about the cell box. If I want to sell power from my battery, I will select a time slot, such as time slot number 2. So at time slot 2, I will be selling 2000 watts from my battery up until I reach a state of charge of 20%. That's it for this video regarding our time of use settings. In the future, I'll go ahead and come up with a few more examples regarding the time of use configurations for your reference. Thank you.